hi everyone welcome to say share classes today i am discussing an important question so how to represent root 5 root 6 root 7 minus root 6 minus root 8 and minus root 11 on a same number line in easy way so let's start the video first of all we have to construct a number line first so first drawing here a line of any length and taking arrow mark on both side by this way and now taking here starting number so taking here a starting number 0 next we have to mark the numbers on the line by using compass so putting the compass here and taking any length and mark the numbers on the line by this way with same length and putting the compass here and cut here and putting the compass here and cut here so by this way we have to first construct a number line okay and the length between any two line any two number is one unit length so this is one two three and this side minus one minus two minus three minus four and minus five okay now roughly discussing some important calculation here so first we have to represent root 5 so first roughly drawing here a right angle triangle pqr and taking the base equal to 2 unit and height equal to 1 unit then the hypotenuse equal to what so by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse PR equal to root over base square so this is 2 square and height square equal to 1 square so this is 4 plus 1 so this is root 5 unit so PR equal to root 5 unit so this concept applying between 0 to 2 so taking here point O and here A and this is 2 unit length next we have to draw a 90 degree angle on the point A so putting the compass on the point a and taking any length and drawing a arc by this way with same length and putting the compass here and cut here and putting the compass here and cut here and drawing an arc here with same length and putting the compass here and cut here so both the curve intersect at a point here so now joining this line and we got a right angle triangle here so this is 90 degree now taking one unit length between any two number by using compass by this way and putting the compass on the point a and cut here so taking here point b and this is one unit length now joining o and b and which is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle so from this this is obviously root 5 unit length now taking the length ob equal to root 5 unit length by using compass by this way and we have to draw a arc through the point b and which made the number line at a here point p so this is root 5 on number line next we have to represent root 6 on number line so roughly discussing first about root 6 so first drawing here a right angle triangle roughly a b c and taking base equal to root 5 unit and height equal to 1 unit then what is hypotenuse so similarly by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse equal to root over root 5 square plus 1 square so this is root 5 plus 1 so this is root 6 unit so this is root 6 unit now here this is root 5 so this is obviously root 5 unit length so first we have to draw a 90 degree angle on the point b by using compass by this way so taking any length and drawing an arc with same length and putting the compass here and cut here and putting the compass here and cut here and drawing a arc here 
with same length and putting the compass here and cut here so both the curve intersect here at a point now first joining this line to get here a 90 degree angle so we got a 90 degree angle at the point b similarly now taking the length one unit length between any two number and putting the compass here and cut here so taking here point c and this is one unit length now joining o and c and this is the hypotenuse so similarly from this we can see that this is root 5 and this is one unit so this is obviously the root 6 unit length so this is root 6 unit length now taking the length oc by sorry similarly we have to represent negative root 6 so first taking the length oc by using compass and drawing an arc which made the number line here at a point and increasing the arc here and which made the number line this side at a point so here taking point q so this is root 6 on number line and here taking point x so this is minus root 6 on number line now next we have to so sorry this is this length and this length are same okay next we have to represent root 7 first okay so if we similarly taking the base equal to root 6 and drawing a 90 degree angle on the point c then we can get root 7 so first drawing here a 90 degree angle on the point c and putting the compass here and cut here and putting the compass here and cut here and drawing an arc here putting the compass here and cut here so both the curve intersect at a point here now first joining this line to get here a 90 degree angle on the point c so we got a 90 degree here okay uh, similarly taking one unit length between any two number by using compass by this way and putting the compass on the point c and cut here so taking here point d and this is one unit length now joining o and d and this is the hypotenuse so this is root 6 and this is one unit so this is obviously root 7 unit length so now taking the length by using compass by this way and drawing an arc by this way in this side and which made the number line at a point here so taking point this is r so this is root 7 on number line next we have to represent root 8 we have to represent minus root 8 so first representing root 8 then taking minus root 8 okay so similarly on the base of root 7 and drawing a 90 degree angle on the point d and putting the compass here taking same length and cut here so first drawing here a 90 degree angle on the point d okay so both the curve intersect at a point here now joining this line to get here a 90 degree angle at the point d so we got a 90 degree angle and at the point d now for root 8 so this is root 7 and taking one unit length by using compass by this way and putting the compass here and cut here so taking point here this is e and this one obviously one unit length now joining o and e and this is the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle o d e so this is obviously this is root 7 and this is 1 so this is obviously root 8 unit length now taking the length 
OE by using compass by this way and drawing a arc this side because we have to represent root minus root 8 so taking point here y and this is minus uh, root 8 on number line last we have to represent minus root 11 so first we have to represent root 11 on number line so now roughly discussing about minus root 11 so taking a right angle triangle and if this is root 7 unit and this is height 2 unit then what is hypotenuse so by pythagoras theorem root over base square so this is 7 root 7 square plus 2 square so this is 7 plus this is 4 so obviously root 11 unit so on the base root 7 if you take 2 unit length as a height then we can get root 11 so now taking 2 unit length by using compass by this way and putting the compass on the point d and taking 2 unit length and cut here so taking point here f so df equal to 2 unit length and drawing joining this so of so from this odf this is 2 unit length and so sorry this is 2 unit length okay so this is root 7 and this is 2 unit length so from this we can say that this is root 11 unit length now taking minus root 11 so now taking the length of by using compass and drawing an arc in this side which made the number line here so taking point z so this is minus root 11 on number line so that's all thanks for watching if this video is helpful to you then please share it with your friend thanks for watching